it's um really good to see many people here who are getting younger I'm a little bit self-conscious because I think um, there are other people watching us, right? Through the Zoom, right? <laughs> so we better behave. I didn't know that I've been here eight times. <laughs> anyway, um, I consider myself as um, a Vajrayana practitioner. And a um, lot of that has to do with um, culture, maybe, uh, because I was um, born and, yeah, I was born and groomed by <clears throat> culture or country or a culture or a family that has a Vajrayana just mm, Vajrayana phenomena. Uh, that may be a good thing in one way. Some people will consider this as a fortunate thing. Mm, but uh, it could also be it could also be a veil some sort of uh, obstruction in the real path. Sometimes I, at, uh, I think of this. Um, I grow up looking at, you know, uh, pictures and statues of Deities, female and male deities in union. Images of uh, figures that has buffalo head, elephant head. Uh, many, many times all together, those devilish looking. Um,都在同一个地方。And um, no question is raised in my head. 
嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯
呃，那事实上是非常好的一件事情。我在我成长过程当中，我会觉得啊，这太混乱了。就是冬天的时候，一直都在摇晃上市啊，龙心吧，一些作家，比如说巴纳洛巴，这些不可思议的这些呃，上市的事迹，到了这个山上，然后过去。Um, all these miracles, and, and during the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. Then, in the summertime, they do all these campos. 就是在这两方 I, I 两个方面来来回回五十年之后， I、have, 我可以说 ，I don't know, I have appreciation, veneration. I I don't want to. I think it is too arrogant for me to claim that I practice Vajrayana. That is too arrogant. 崇敬的心情。But um, I think I can sort of say that that I I aspire, I wish, I practice Buddha Dharma in general and especially Vajrayana. Not all the time, by the way. Time to time, when I'm sober. Because <coughs> you know, um, I you know I really get um, very thrilled and very excited and convinced. I like the ideas like poison is medicine. You know, I, I like, I just like that. Because I really like this kind of idea, like poison is medicine. It excites me. 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 <laughs> I like when I hear things like, um, you know, profane is sacred. You know, tamba sacred, sacred, right? And I like things like when I hear things like um, that. This, this emotion that I have. This emotion is very easy. Yeah, of course, just intellectual level, but I mean, this is the year 2021. Having this kind of statement alive. This is 2021. That's good. That's amazing. And um, not only these are just a statement. Poison is medicine. Emotion is wisdom. Profane is sacred. Not only these are just a statement. Oh, by the way, if the translators are having a hard time, I can slow down a little bit. So if someone can send a message, so if someone can send a message, um. Not only there's that kind of statement, that kind of philosophy or a science, if you like, but there's actual technique, there's actual path that is there that you can actually apply these techniques. Um, you know, what do you call it? Empiric empiricism, right? Empiric empiricism. You know, we like to have that, isn't it? Empirical. And that's very much so with this, this, uh, this wisdom of 
profane is sacred and poison is medicine and so on and so forth. This is something that is empirical. This is something that you can actually experience. Um, you can actually, you can actually find out whether you are this emotion. It doesn't matter what kind of emotion. It can be <coughs> very um, melancholic, sentimental, or it can, it can be very um, destructive even, or very <coughs> dull and depressing, but it is possible now to experience that there are actually wisdom. This is not just a statement. I know it is difficult to sort of accept it, but is that just because, you know, we are not giving this a chance. I mean, if you really give the chance, it is possible. It's not a myth. It's not a story. And, and, um, this kind of practice, this kind of tradition and know-how has been there for 2,000 years. It's not just like recently discovered somewhere in the South Beach when someone got excited looking at the sunset. This is very much, you know, tested uh, by many people. And, um, by a lot of people, in fact, a uh, lot of amazing people, mm, you know, scholars and um, kings, queens, um, some of the greatest um, leaders in the world. Genghis um, <coughs> Khan, right? Actually, this should, this should, this should tell us something. You know, people, if I say this, people will think, he wasn't really, a, he, he wasn't really behaving like a Buddhist, has, has he? You know, this is the question that people would ask. This is an interesting question, actually, because somehow we have put Buddhism into the basket of well-behaving basket. So, yeah, that is an interesting. But maybe later we can discuss this. <coughs> there were a lot of interesting people. Genghis Khan. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was a Buddhist, but Quite an interesting person. And uh, <coughs> uh, there was um, like uh, King Tisong Diwuzhen of Tibet. Yeah, of course, if you ask a Tibetan and especially a Nyingma Pass, they will revere him as great Manjushiri incarnate, the compassionate, the all But history have also said that he was at times like a child, like a childlike. Like when he was upset with his ministers, he would eat his shoes and he would roll on the ground and he would beat himself up. But this is also a king who really ruled big time. I think it's important that we <coughs> sometimes go beyond what you call stere stereotyping. Ah, Alexander, Napoleon, we always have a story 
Generally, Buddha Dharma and especially Vajrayana. Mahayana, Theravada, Sharvakanyana, Um, yeah, uh, opportunist. And um, not just because of all these strange, controversial people, but Tantra itself is a controversy. Some may think that this Vajrayana Buddhism is becoming a controversial thing now. No, it has always been controversial, right from the beginning. Um, <coughs> from the time it started, actually. Obviously. Someone who our system that says poison is medicine, what do you expect? That's already asking for trouble, isn't it? Um, you are already starting with controversy here. Um, so, Tantra definitely is. So, Tantra cannot be appreciated by uh, everyone. Not only it cannot be appreciated by everyone, in fact, there were a lot of uh, call it, um, people who really condemned Tantra, more so in Buddhism. Within the Buddhist. And rightfully so, many times. Um, Tantra has been looked at with a suspicious, you know, with a lot of suspicion. Um, So, if you are looking at the tantric history, tantra has always been kept. I don't like the word secret, but it was not exhibited. Definitely. It was. Um, it was um, Kept guarded very zealously and uh, carefully. Um, and uh, actually, the reason why Tantra was kept secretly 
。而为什么密续密称会受到保密 ？Determination is really out of kind, out of care and compassion. 这个原因其实是出自于慈悲心。Stakeholder, stakeholder of tantra in the past. 出于那些过去，就是属于密乘的人，他们的内心才会对密乘这么的保密。We need to save the people from misusing the tantra. 因为我们必须要，呃。让那别人不能够误用、滥用密乘。当然是如此。But I think that is a smaller, what do you call it, thing to worry in a way. But more importantly, if, ah, people who are not matured, people who are not ready, even have a little doubt. To this incredible magical, I don't know alchemy. How to say? Um, like a magic wand. You know, even if there is a little bit of a doubt, this will be a magic wand. This will distend the person from approaching to the tantra. 没有办法，就是接近密乘。本长的时间，在这个嗯、um, 佛教徒的术语来说，就是无数劫来说，他们没有办法接近密乘。So this is why we we always hear this. You know, 假如说他们有丝毫的怀疑、的信的话，这也就是为什么过去的这些上师呢，像是我的上师丁国清。One thing he keep on repeating. 不断的会反复告诫像我这样的人，就会说，不管你做什么呢，你要尽自己最大的努力，不会有人会让别人没有办法去怀疑他的信仰，让别人不会对金刚圣产生怀疑心。所以，我们必须让他们离开，这样才不会让他们就是离开我们的法身。这样才不会让他们就是离开我们的法身。也会有无，这样才不会让他们有很多很多身世都没有办法去进行密乘。我跟你们说一件事情，就可能会有一点沉重。There are people who 有些人，嗯 ，I don't know whether I should say this, but 我不知道我应不应该说这个。I'll say it mildly, mildly. I will, I will water down a little bit. 我会把它稀释一下，我用比较温和的方式来说。就是有些人呢 ，so afraid， 他们这么的害怕 ，believe in reasoning， 去相信呃理论。Falling into the hell realm. Some tantric practitioners, they are more worried about that. They are more worried about becoming sensible than going to hell. We can discuss about this. If you, 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 if It's an important statement. This is a very important statement. This is a very important statement. Um. So, but actually, this is not only in the Bajajana, even in the Mahayana. 不过其实呢，这个不只是在这个金刚圣当中，其实在大圣当中。When asked, to whom should we give? Shunyata teaching. He said, "He never said, 'Oh, to those Harvard and Yale graduates.' This I made it up. He never said, 'Oh, to those Harvard and Yale graduates.' Not to those who are so smart and so well read and so reasonable and so educated. He never said, 'Oh, to those who are so smart and so well read and so reasonable and so educated.' He never said, 'Oh, to those who are so smart and so well read.'" The name, the word, Shunyata. They have a goosebump. 
就会鸡皮疙瘩起来，热泪盈眶的人，对这样的人呢，你才应该教导同情。对这样的人呢，你才应该教导同情。对这样的人呢，你才应该教导同情。Amazing, because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he was a really a big time. Because if you read Gandhi, he For those, just hearing the name of Shunyata, you feel good. And if you think about it, it's actually quite sense. It's quite reason. I mean, understandable what this these statements. I think to be a vessel for teachings like Shunyata. Teachings such as Sungjuk Union, right? Union, Sungjuk Union, like a Mahamudra or a Mahasandhi. Just the intelligence, intellect, not for the being smart is not enough. In fact, it's not that important. What you need is you need. I think the English word is neck, right? Neck. You know, you have to no neck. Um, neck, neck, neck. You have to have the neck. Neck. You have to have that. I don't know. You just have to. Um, you know, I was looking at this word neck, and the English dictionary says some just have special neck for getting into trouble. What do you think? You know, some people just have that neck, neck, like bent, right? The other way, the bent, hang, hang. You just, is it hang? Also. Some some just have that neck. 总之呢，就是呃，有些人就是特别对那方面是有财富的吧，这样讲啊，有特别有本事的。And this, if you ask me, this neck. 那 If you ask me, what is that? 你问我说这是什么样的本事呢 ？I think the Buddhist would say it's called merit. That's the best word I can come in English. I can come up with. Sanam, punya. And I'm sure you know many of you. You know this. You know like many of you. You are very. I don't know for whatever reason you are inspired by half paralyzed. Half at times squeaking. And you are very inspired. And other people, other people get almost, you know, other people by looking at somebody like Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, and when they look at her meat jacket, right? She wears meat. And they almost come to come close to sort of orgasmic situation. You know, you just have that neck. You have that neck. So they have another kind of neck. This happens. This this happens. So there are such situations. I think you know what I'm talking about. A neck. You know, some people have really just so good at realist, realist. Yeah, housing. Some people are so good at this. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just so good at this. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. They just know what to buy and when to buy. And when you meet this kind of people, then of course, no need to keep it secret. If not, then 
I think keeping it secret is maybe not the right word. Like, 如果不是这样的人，就是说，就特别具有这种本领、这种德的人，那可能呃，保密是很重要，就是要去保护这个教法， you know, just, uh, 不要去呃显露它，就是很重要的，不能把它公开的展示。Uh, kind of 是挺重要的。But you, Tibetans have been so bad with this. 但是呢，藏族人对这一方面来说，真的是做的很差。They are. I mean, I guess the whole Tibet somehow, one way or another, has a Buddhist culture. So I guess it was understandable in this language Tibet. So I can understand that in Tibetan, in Buddhism, their methods are like that. Tibetans just can't keep it. Keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. They just each time to talk. But the Tibetans, really, they just can't keep things secret. You can also choose books like Kabbalah. I don't know. You, you, there's no choice. There was a bookshelf. Maybe the only. I don't think there will be any books in the Buddhist library. Maybe there will be some. There's so much. Buddhist library. There's so much. Buddhist library. There's so much. Buddhist library. There's so much. It's actually quite. Sometimes I really think this is the blessing of the. That. It's really amazing that. Images are such a thing. 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 Images are such Wow, what do they think? They would think how to think about this kind of thing. There's so much tolerance, you know, tolerance, so much. <coughs> Maybe the Tibetan painting is so abstract, they don't really know what's going on. Maybe the Tibetan painting is so abstract, they don't really know what's going on. Maybe the Tibetan painting is so abstract, they don't really know what's going on. 觉得那些东西有太奇怪。Tibetans are not so good with keeping it secret. 不过总之呢，藏族人真的不是很会保密。And even me today, coming here, and you all know, most of you anyway, most of you all know. 你们都知道，你们大部分人都知道。我是一个金刚圣的学生。You know that. That's really not good, actually. 这其实已经不是件好事了。Actually, 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 Mistake, and I have myself told you just now. I am a. I have to practice Vajrayana. I should have said this. Especially if they are new people, that's how it should be. But this is how it is. I told you. But now the situation is like this. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> as I said, 总之呢, I do have aspiration to practice tantra. I, I don't want to claim I'm a tantra practitioner. I'm not saying this out of humility. I'm more like that. Um, not to, you know, more like a, you know, disclaimer. <coughs> yes, I have aspiration to practice the Vajrayana. And not always. Okay. Quite a lot of time. 
，我很大很多时间是这样发愿的、嗯，有这样的愿望。I partly I'm I say that、uh, I have aspiration to practice Vajrayana, but not、嗯、always and not hundred percent. And the reason is, even after all these years, the tantric teachings still surprises me. So, which means that there's a still a lot of things that I haven't, I still, you know, yet, you know,、uh, yet to discover. Even as recent as. Me, You know, in New York, when I was in New York, somebody gave me a volume of a, a tantric text. And just that afternoon, since there was nothing much going on, I was reading a few pages. And this text I have read so many times in the past. 个文本过去我念读过无数遍了，但是非常惊讶的，里面有一些文具，有些字词，是我读过的，却让我又找到了新的意义。Yes, I do have aspiration, but I think it can really go much more. I still think. But 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 I Uh, what do you call it? Cannot accept. Dare not accept. Because habit of this logic, no pain, no gain is so strong. Uh, just not pay, no gain is so strong. Uh, just not pay, no gain is so strong. 所以，当有人说到说完全不需要什么付出，完全不用辛苦，你就会有收获。很自然的，你就会觉得出于喜心，就会觉得这是不可能的。And not only the view， 而且不只是见地是这样子 ，technique， 就连他的技巧、他的法门、他的方便法门是无穷无尽的。Dare not accept， 我们不敢去接受那些。Cannot fit in my small mind. They completely cannot accept my little heart. They are many reasons why I dare not accept them. There are many reasons why I dare not accept them. There are many reasons why I dare not accept them. There are many reasons why I dare not accept them. There are many reasons why I dare not accept them. There are many reasons why I dare not accept them. There are many reasons why I dare not accept them. Residual. 还是会有某种有神性的呃东西参与在我心中。这事实上是非常震撼人的，因为我成长的整个过程就是在学习中观呢，学习量学这些东西，所以肯定是一些过去式的一些参与的影响。才会有这种有神性的这个观念，还在我心中。就是说要依赖某个救主啊，然后某个救主会帮助我，会解决我的问题。我们会有非常强烈的这种参与观念。And not only that, Jingang Shen's Mishu's some teachings, 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 some And recently, of course, 而最近呢，当然 ，the temptation to join the what do you call it bandwagon， 诱惑就是想要去加入。Wow, that is strong. 
temptation to join the bandwagon. 就是加入呃大众。Not a tantric thing to do. 大众比较呃流行的东西吧。You know. What's the expression? If you are not with us, you are with enemy. 是不是有这种说法？就是说，如果你不是我们这边的话，那你就是敌人的一边。哇！如果你不是跟我们一队的，你就是别队的。That is strong. It really shakes me. 这是那个讲法，真的是非常的强烈。And when that shakes you, then it makes you. It makes you a tantric. Capacity shaken. That he shakes you when he shakes you, he will make your Jin Gang Shen ability also shake. And then, of course, I'm so I'm also scared of the wrath of goody goody liberals. And also, those who say that the free liberals are also very afraid of me. Those who are reading my Facebook or whatever, this is sort of what you call it. My ex, you know, I, I, I try to upset them, upset the liberals, but this is actually what you call it in the psychology, what you call it, reverse psychology or something. It just means that I'm so afraid of them. I'm trying to. I don't know. It is very scary. It is very scary. The liberal rash. Really scary. Is really very scary. 很吓人的。And among other things, I'm talking about how I find myself not. 就是说，我发现我自己 not I mean not strong tantric vessel. 不是一个足够强壮的金刚秤法器。You know, like I love collecting. 因为我很喜欢收集那些像是铅笔。I love collecting. I don't know bags. Yeah. 哎，我很喜欢收集那个包。But those that doesn't matter. Pencil bag doesn't matter. 不过那些是无所谓的，那个铅笔啊包，那那个还没什么关系。最糟糕的是呢，我喜欢收集呃对峙方法。Not good. This is not good. Tantric people don't like this. Jin Gang Shen people don't like this. My, my forefathers, Dilopas, Narupas. I don't know what they are thinking, looking down at me. I don't know what they are thinking, looking down at me. I love collecting antidotes. I love and I I think antidotes are chok spring. What do you call it? Number chok and spring. They are they are good. I consider them as 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 good. But these are all human 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 Think out of box. We like to think out of box. Not just we say we like to think out of box, but we like to also do things out of box. I guess. Also, we also like to think out of box, but we like to do things out of box. I guess. Also, we also like to think out of box, but we like to do things out of box. I guess. Also, we also like to think out of box, but we like to do things out of box. I guess. Also, we also like to think out of box, but we like to do things out of box. I guess. Also, we also like to think out of box. Joining the bandwagon, so important. Even if you are, if you are craving for a cup of nice coffee, actually, if there is some strange, you know, coffee shop, if there is a strange coffee shop. 
It's difficult to choose that, isn't it? Safer to choose Starbucks. Because you already know what is there. You basically know, so you feel safe. This adventure, full adventure to choose this um, obscure coffee shop. So all this. Basically, so this is destroy is maybe not the right word, but all this is uh, weakening at least the magic. Um, the in the Guha Garva Tantra, the word is Jumtul Tawa. Magical net, is it magical net? You know, we lose this. What to do? Um, you know, poison is medicine. That is a magic. Medicine is also poison. That is also a magic. And um, The fact that there is no such thing as ultimate uh, poison and ultimate medicine is also uh, a magic. And um, I think this then, I don't know, Weakens this kind of uh, what do you call it? Um, net of I net of Maya <coughs> illusion. So it's a good way which is something that is always here, always there. But, uh, falling into the trap of poison as a poison, only medicine is medicine. Only, then deprive us from actually being able to enjoy the wealth, the infinite, vast, deep wealth of this uh, magic. Anyway, magic is already not uh, acceptable uh, term in this world of what do you call it empiricism, science, technology. Anyway, um, Karmic connection. Yeah, 
power of cause and condition, power of karmic link is so strong that um, even what do you call it? Um, miles and miles away from uh, Ganges in Varanasi, or in this case, I think probably it's uh, uh, Anyway, it doesn't matter. It, miles away from Ganges. The teachings of the Mahamudra, Mahasandhi, coming to this land. And um, brought here by Chojim Trumpa Rinpoche. A lot of you here, uh, his um, children, are his students. Vajra student. And um, yes. I have a very mixed feeling towards this place. This is, uh, I don't know whether it's improving, but um, um, so much, uh, what do you call it, um, not even thinking about Buddha Dharma in general. Um, there's so much appreciation and um, in awe of um, what Trungpa Rinpoche have uh, brought here. If you are looking at, I was looking at uh, some of the texts that um, Do you do this Tabokaju um, lineage chant sometimes? Mm. I don't know. For many of you, what do you think? But, um, even the verses like awareness is the body of meditation, as is taught. Whatever arises is fresh. The essence of realization to this meditator who rests simply without altering. Just this message, I mean, this, this, this stanza, Just this stanza having brought here and uh, build a systematic system uh, 
I don't know, atmosphere, culture, if you like, to really bring this You know this uh, this spirit. Spirit is maybe not right word. This, this, uh, this wisdom. It's, I don't know if you if you can if one can think about these things. It's like um, mind-boggling. That such a teaching is brought here, and uh, not just read, for years and time, cultivating, engaging with this kind of wisdom. And um, concepts such as Vajrayogini, Chakrasambhara, must be so alien. And the symbol, language. The whole method, but um, this is um, still um, being carried on. And, uh, as somebody who is sort of, you know, um, outside, Observing, observing, that is still alive. There are still people who think that Tamaji Sheba pointing out something to sort after, something to you know, invest in your time and energy. These are blessings from my point of view. And I don't know, I feel very encouraged. You have to remember. It took more than a thousand years to really establish Buddha Dharma in Tibet. Yeah, the concept of Rigden. I don't know what 
people who are new to this think about. 实名，我不知道新的人会怎么样去想这个东西。Rigden is just. Rigden 是非常的。I don't know. It's inexpressible, but. 不知道怎么说，它是无法言传的。Sub, sal is what? How do you translate? 是非常深奥的。Sub, sal, clear, brilliant. What profound, brilliant, just, and firm, powerful. 它是非常深奥的，非常光明的，非常呃公平平稳， you know, 非常稳健的。然后对这样子， you know, never to have any doubt towards this。嗯，永远不生任何的怀疑。I was talking to some young people today. I feel very encouraged, and this I want to repeat. I feel very encouraged, and this I want to repeat. I was, you know, I heard that the world of artificial intelligence is coming up more and more. So people are going to have identity crisis because of that. Because you know, lots of jobs and professions are going to be taken over by artificial intelligence, which means that who are we? Are we? What are we? Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify ourselves with a job or something. Because many times we identify It is at that time. That 就是在这样的时候呢。If you can just continue a little bit, just few more years, I would say. 我会说呢，如果你能够再持续一下，再努力一下，或许一百年的时间。If you can just continue hold these values of Rigden, 如果你能够，你们能够继续的，就是嗯。支持这个这样子的价值观 ，redeem 这个价值观。刚刚刚刚我讲持名 ，and then there are subsequent stories about how you know some people are scared of this, you know, redeem whatever. You understand? You feel sort of scared or doubtful, and then. All these cowardly people will arise. Something like that. I don't know how you translate. I'm just reading the Tibetan. And then, then also a bunch of coward people will arise. And then, what do they do? They go and hide in the cave. They hide in the cave. Letter of Black Ashe. I'm just reading in Tibetan, really badly. I'm translating, so don't laugh at me too much. But it's just incredible. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just hold on to this, just another hundred years. If you can just Metropolitan Museum. In about twenty years, and when people laugh at this, you know what a funky, you know, clunky thing that they use. At that time, these words will be the answer to this identity crisis. I need you to say this. 
tonight. This is this is actually the only thing I wanted to say. The, all the other things that I said earlier, just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to say that this is just to fill up the. I just want to Strong, 有时候要非常的强壮，有时候要非常的善巧有技巧，来、like, 就是度过这些挑战。但是这些东西真的是非常珍贵的。我想在座有很多人都做了非常不可思议的工作，来呃保存这些，所以我就是真的对大家致上我的随喜心。Not having enough, even enough time to do some other things, but right. 有时候你们甚至没有足够的时间做别的事情， okay, so、对吗？好，我我不会讲太多。嗯，我听说好像我们有些问题，我们可能不见得会有时间回答所有的问题。不过我想，或许可以回答其中的部分问题。不见得会有时间回答所有的问题。不过我想，或许可以回答其中的部分问题。Hello. It's on now. Okay. <coughs> I will. Yeah. Can't take the mask off. <laughs> Rinpoche, these questions have been submitted from people all over. Ah,、uh, these questions are from all over the world. Selected a few to start with. These are the difficult questions. Oh. That, 这边选来的是比较难的问题 How can you actually tell if a teacher is being abusive, acting out of confusion, or is acting with skillful means? I don't know where is this question come. Who is asking this question? Because this kind of question should not even be there if you are not studying or practicing tantra. If you are not studying tantra, of course, even in the Vajrayana. Of course, even in the Vajrayana. Teacher actually is more responsible in taking care of the student as his or her only child. So abusing and harming the student in the Vajrayana is fundamentally. Wrong, because the Vajrayana is basically based on prati moksha, which is、uh, you know,、mm, you know, no matter what what kind of tantric practitioner you are, you have to practice. You have to take refuge to Buddha Dharma and the Sangha. And as someone who has taken refuge to Buddha Dharma and the Sangha, the fundamental practice. Is not harm others. So even on that level, so even on that level, the teacher is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not supposed to directly harm others. But it is not Uh, happenings within the Vajrayana world. Recently, in the Vajrayana world, 
意识的情况下来，进入金刚秤，就是你做了很多的思维，做了很多的分析之后，决定这是你要去从事的法道。Then you have to have the wits and guts and the courage to take a lot of things as a not just skillful means, but as a but as I said earlier, if this question is coming for generally all Buddhism, now in the Sharvaka, in the Tantra, in the Mahayana, this is I mean. It's it's much more clearer, much more black and white in the causal part. Yes, in the Vajrayana part, it is much more difficult because Vajrayana is sort of what you call it. Individual choice. You have to really choose this. Uh, but again, I have to. I've, I've been realizing that this question is probably also based on. I don't know where is this question coming from. Um, there's a lot of uh, what do you call it? Um, background. Of this question. Um, Okay, this may sound not so good for a lot of people. 对很多人来说，这可能听起来不是那么好。I think we need to say this. 不过，我想我们需要说这个。Buddhism is never really, really. 佛教呢，从来都不是真的。Its ultimate aim is not really to develop a social structure. 佛教的究竟目的呢？ You know, 从来都不是为了要发展出一个社会的结构。And I'm saying this in reference to many other religions. I think many other religions is connected to social structure, morality, ethics, etc. And this will always. Emotionally or intellectually, I think it ends up conflicting people a little bit. So this is where this is why I always encourage people should really sort of have. Go through some sort of in-depth study. I mean, one good example. I'm always telling this that there's no such thing as the Buddhist wedding. You know, it's a social structure. Maybe many religions have this, or many religions even have things like if you steal somebody's wallet, what to do with their hand. But you know, Buddhists don't really have that. Let's say they actually a Buddhist wedding. More likely, Buddhists would also have a divorce ceremony. You know, this is how the Buddhists think. It's not really. So this question is very, very vast. So if this question is coming from some sort of a structure, yeah, kind of a social structure. Then it gets really complicated. But yes, fundamentally, this is what I need to tell you. If you are a Buddhist, you are. You have taken refuge to Buddha Dharma and Sangha. Therefore, you cannot harm others. That is fundamental. But harming, not harming, helping, not helping, all this also gets so complicated because it's very subjective. And also, you know, like good and bad, so subjective. 
I'm sorry, I'm not really answering this. Um, clearly, I can't really clearly explain this for a general uh, more than what I just said, you know, if you, since, you are, since you are a Vajrayana, if you are a Vajrayana guru, then this, this must mean that you are practicing Mahayana and the Sharvakayana. I mean, Therefore, no, you cannot harm others. Definitely not. In, with the intention and action, no, cannot. If Vajrayana is so great, why are so many long-time Vajrayana practitioners still totally confused and disconnected from reality? Yeah. Yeah. That I think is easier. I think. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know. Um, just because you are a Vajrayana practitioner doesn't mean that you are really practicing it properly. That's Maybe he or she is really trying to disconnect from the society, and that could be, that could be pain in the neck for a lot of people. It's very subjective, also. Again, I think. Yeah, it's very, very subjective. Maybe you see them as confused. Or she disconnected from reality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you, you may think like that, but it's really difficult. I mean, okay. Um, what did Jingling mm. say? Mm. You know, if you're looking at the Prayers written by the great masters of the past. If you are disconnected from a reality, reality in the you know humans' reality. You have achieved your goal. You know, you have done a good job. If he has this kind of prayers, may, what did he say? May, hundred things that I wish never come true. May, hundred things that I, may, thousand things that I dare not wish comes true, stuff like that. So, that is maybe again difficult to answer. I do not. I don't want to say that. Yeah, I'm sure there must be a lot of disconnected to reality. Vajrayana practitioners. Myself, I have to say, you know, I volunteer as a good example of. Very much, I'm not just saying this, very much, uh, uh, yeah, I told you already in the beginning, you know, the half part of what I said earlier, there's a lot of schizophrenia kind of element in me. But when I told my masters what to do with it, he said, it, is, uh, actually, um, it, it actually means that 
I'm struggling between the world of dharma and world of material world. And he says that probably at least, you know, sort of beginning stage of good thing. At least I'm not totally, completely, blindly happy with this illusory world. I think maybe it's a good thing. It's a very, very difficult. If you want to talk about poison is medicine level of conversation, you need to really think like that. I don't want to, you know, like say, I, can, I don't want to put, I don't want to tell you, okay, this is the right thing to do, this is the wrong thing to do. Who am I to say this? You know, I don't have that boundary. I'm not a almighty person who can decide this. Did you want to ask? Okay. Uh, Rinpoche, I have two questions. The first one is, I'm really wondering if you could say a little bit more about why it's so bad in the Vajrayana to collect antidotes? And the second one is, do you have any advice for those of us that deeply in our bones want the letter of the Black Ashe to still be available in a hundred years? What can we do now, especially with the um, collecting antidote business? Um, you need to hear this, that is bad, but you should still keep on collecting. But you need to hear it. This is the thing about tantric path. I'm telling you, it tells you to do something, it says something and it makes you, it, it, it also makes you do something else. You know, like in the southern practice, the whole morning it makes you rise as a deity and suddenly within one second you have to dissolve everything. Stuff like that. As for the keeping the... Why is it bad? Hmm? Why? You need to hear it's bad, but why is it bad? Because if you have an antidote, then you will always have the opposite of antidote. And if you don't want right, why, why would, you know, so which means you have a problem. So uh, as for the, um, you know, like the wealth of, you know, like black ashe, as I said, I think you guys are doing it right now. I think you just need to continue, continue whatever you are doing. Uh, probably, sometimes we get disheartened because we tend to think that an organization or a board of people who, would, who should do this and that when they don't do it, then we get this happen. But if you're looking at the history of Buddha Dharma, it's always, it's always out of nowhere somebody will come and protect. It's always like that. Look at the history of Buddha Dharma. I mean, like, wow. The mother of uh, Asanga and uh, Vasubandhu, you know, like India, male dominating, male dominating, men, all of that. And then this, this none. This is, uh, I think we are talking about what, Asanga, 6th century? Even before, right? I think so. Before, because yeah, fourth century, none, Buddhist nun. You know, she was so disheartened and she really wanted to protect the Buddha Dharma. So she really doesn't know what to do because she's a woman, Indian, man, all that. So she just had an affair with a, a prince. Just to make a baby. And then came out Asanga. 
Just imagine India, man, flirting with a prince. Wow, the scandal she had to go through. And then, as if this is not enough, she jilted the prince and then hung around with a Brahmin. That's not unacceptable in India. And then came Vasubandhu, who was this to Asanga and the Vasubandhu there, like a pioneer of the, you know, Mahayana one, you know, they're like equal to, I would say Asanga is equal to Nagarjuna. So I think from the most unexpected can come. And I think this exists because there are people who are Motivated. I think this is so true, even with the Buddha in the, in the world today, Dharma today. I have noticed this. Even you know, like in the West, many times, Rinpoche is like myself, I don't know, uh, stakeholders. We don't do as much as we should be doing. But then there's always this like mother of three children, no husband. We have to work hard. She is the one who is cleaning the center, making the photocopies, I don't know, cooking, making people come to listen to these teachings. Work so hard. So these people will always hold the fault, I think. Okay. So, any more questions? Maybe, yeah, there are some more questions okay. from cyberspace. How can you continue to defend the system and the people that have ruined many people's lives? That have caused harm. I don't know again where's this question coming from. If the question is referring to things I have written or said. I have always been really talking about how Vajrayana needs to be guarded and defended. Not really the person if people sort of read it carefully. Because, what, what's the English expression? Throw, don't throw baby with the bath water? Yeah, I think that is quite important. Um, so even if you are looking at like words like then, sub, sal, song, zen, wow, those are important. Those are going to be beneficial for a lot of people. Just because certain uh, people who you have a very reasonable or unreasonable expectations and assumptions do not really perform their job, or you see it that way, if you also discount this, it's a loss for, I think, all of us. And this has always been what I have been trying to say, because the Vajrayana is really, really precious. And, uh, yes, as I said, Vajrayana suffered a lot with the controversy because of the, I think many times because of the tantric people, you know, how they behave, how they are not skillful, how they, I don't know, exude themselves. Uh, 
时间的。Uh, to 其实对现代人来说，听到现在这个是非常棒的。如果你想要跳脱框架来做思维的话， this, 那无非就是听到现在这个。如果你不是于这一块的话，那是不可能有跳脱框架的思维的。You know, months and months and months, 我已经无数个月都这么讲了。Um, especially during these past two years, because of the pandemic, there was a lot of time to think. 因为在这个呃、so, uh, 疫情期间呢，有很多的时间可以去做思考。Yes, the the Vajrayana is incredible, and they need to be protected. 但是它是需要大家去守护的。或许，嗯，再一个问题。What would you say to the children of parents who were so focused on getting enlightened that their children experienced neglect？ 假如说有这个父母是非常关注于就是要获得正悟，然后结果就让自己的子女呢？呃，受到忽视或者受到一些伤害的话，怎么办 ？These are such a big questions。这些是很大的问题。嗯、um, ，parenting， 做为人父母。I have never been a parent myself. So I'm not in the position to really make much comment. So I really don't have the ability to make much comment. So I really don't have the ability to make much comment. So I really don't have the ability to make much comment. So I really don't have the ability to make much comment. So I really don't have the ability to make much comment. So I really don't have the ability to make much comment. And shut down the Buddhist values and ethics, and I don't know teachings. Even practically speaking, the children always seems to do the opposite of what you say. So maybe it is not a skillful thing to do. Instead, if you want your children. To also follow, like, let's say Buddha Dharma. I do. If you, as a parent, keep on doing your practice with humility, compassion, kindness, just tolerance, big mind, big vision, big view. I think. Children will always be very proud of you. Children will always look up to you and see you as, you know, at the, you know, they say that the parents are your parents at the real school. So I think if the parents just keep on doing their. I'm assuming that this question is regarding the Dharma practitioner parents. So if it is Dharma, if you keep on doing your Dharma practice, I'm not really imposing on them. Then, 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 They might want to actually come into your mouth. Pretend that you don't want them right away. They will want more. I think something like that probably is the way to go. But parenting is difficult. I think, especially in this modern age, where I feel that individualism, liberal value, so much cherished and hyped, and now there's all kinds of media that will help you alienate yourself from each other. 
There's always going to be a conflict, I think, between wanting to be, wanting to fit in. I'm sure all the uh, future generations, they will always want to fit in. I don't know how they will want to fit in, maybe through social media or internet. Um, Anyway, if the question is regarding as a Buddhist parents, how do we set, how do we deal with a, how do we at least not neglect? Is by practicing the Dharma authentically, properly, and not imposing that to them. Okay. And in some sense, and this is kind of true, thinking about it, I haven't stopped screaming since. <laughs> this is true. It, it's, it's a penetrating kind of, uh, energy. And what I remember very clearly is that it shifted my entire life. My mother was a crazy, crippled Tibetan person. And packed me and my half brother up in a truck and drove across the country. That's crazy. My mother took me and my brother up in a truck and drove across the country. That's crazy. My mother took me and my brother up in a truck and drove across the country. That's crazy. My mother took me and my brother up in a truck and drove across the country. That's crazy. My mother took me and my brother up in a truck and drove across the country. That's crazy. My mother took me and my brother up in a truck and drove across the country. That's crazy. My mother took me and my brother up in a truck Provoked is very important that we cherish our mothers as children. Our mothers give birth to future Buddhas from one perspective. So my mother is a very lucky soul. She just did a nine-month retreat at Gampo Abbey, and they call her Sparky. Was her nickname? Dessie Howard. So, Rinpoche, could we possibly perform a magic trick? Yeah, it's going to involve a little bit. It's going to involve a little bit of props. But it's a true match, and I have no attainment or special powers or anything. Just totally regular guy. But I do carry around this stone, and this is going to really piss some of the Buddhists. Do not get this at all. It really makes them a little insecure. They're like, "What is that guy?" Like Larry, he's a Jewish, very intellectual. He's like, "Ethan, get rid of the damn stone! What are you doing with the stone?" And I'm like, "Larry, the stone's not going anywhere. It's just a stone." But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Now, a stone, Larry, has a secret magic power. What do you think it is? Gravity. 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 Rinpoche, all we need you to do is just be the Buddha for just maybe even like a second. I mean, we're kind of putting our faith in you to be able to handle that part of the equation here. So I'm going to make a wish. So this stone is a completely ordinary stone in my hand. I want everybody to take a look. This is ordinary stone. Everybody can see it. Right? Ordinary. This stone is also a wish-fulfilling jewel. It's priceless. I'm going to get it insured, in fact. I'm looking into talking to some lawyers about this for a million dollars. But um, 
。So, 现在跟别人写日记书要给他上保险。I'm making a wish right now, and this wish is going to come true. And this wish comes from my mother. My mother said I was down in Annapolis Royal, and she said, "Ethan, I have these peace gates that I cart around with me for doing bugaku and gagaku." And the vijadra, she told me directly to my face. She said, "Ethan, the vijadra told John Sell to his face." The entire kingdom of Shambhala depends on doing this ridiculous dance. That's my sorry. That's my really excruciating dance, Gagaku. Have you ever heard of this, Rumshi? It's the imperial court dance of Japan. And what I realized when I was just up in Cape Breton is, my mother is actually a kind of lineage holder. And that lineage comes from Togi Sensei. And the Vijayadara said, "You have to do this dance because the entire kingdom of Shambhala depends on this." Now he said lots of stuff to lots of people. He probably told Larry, "Like translation is the most important thing in the universe. Every text you do has to be translated perfectly." I understand that, but what I'm doing is I'm creating a wish. That in 2023, September 21st, in Kalapa Valley. And I'm going to sponsor. I'm going to put in five thousand dollars to pay my mother to take those gates and the beautiful costume and dance. With a live orchestra, and there are a few people who know how to play these really far-out instruments. And then what I'm going to ask is all of the other Shambhala artists, like who do these flower arranging. And even the grumpy ones, like Gina Stick, who just like I don't know, I think I irritate her more than anybody. But um, but she, when you hold one of her porcelain dishes in your hands, you're holding the kingdom of Shambhala literally in your hand, and it really pisses me off because I don't understand why she seems so grouchy. But I, it's probably me. Um, so I'm making this wish. Now, I found this morning. This stone I walked into an antique gallery this morning, and I can find objects with this stone. It's weird. I found a very beautiful vase, and it's a Shambhala vase. It's kind of like a blessing vase, except for this is from the Qing dynasty. And I found a reasonable price, and I would like to auction that off to build a roof for the little hovel up there in Kalapa Valley. Our palace Kalapa, is infested with mice, and in fact, Gary Brown, the director, the director of Kalapa、uh, Valley, was up there fixing the roof, and snakes—I、uh, uh, kid you not—came out of the ceiling. Snakes. Ceiling. So we need a new roof up there. So I'm pledging that in two years I will, with this stone, with your help, and a wish, we will build a new roof. Okay. Okay. Sorry to take your time, and also Rimshay, you know what's going on, as you know. I'm really. Um. Anyways, I appreciate all your time, and um, it is an unbelievable blessing that you are here. Thank you. Thank you. Larry, you're going to meet the stone in person.